In the Santa Anita Stadium now, also representing Great Britain, standing seventh coming into this final competition, Eon Stark, a Scot from Scotland, up on Oxford Blue. Lucinda Green, his teammate, just had a clear round with a time of 118.08, helping the British cars, Tad and Bill. And there is Lucinda telling uh, Regal Realm, did a fine job. Now she'll come out and watch her teammate. And the pressure is also on Ian Stark to have a clean round here. He'll really put the squeeze on the Americans. Ian is 30 years old, 5'8", 150 pounds, a former civil servant in Scotland. And he's really come out of the blue to be on the British team. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's not so young, but he is relatively inexperienced. His credentials really just go back to uh, 84 and 83. And to make that team is quite an accomplishment. It right. certainly is. Credentials aren't bad. He, he won Bramham. He, he was second at Axel Schwang. But this is by far the biggest occasion of his three-day eventing career. And this is the first time that he's written for, written for the British team. Jumping very well. The horse looks a little tired from yesterday. This, of course, is Ian Stark of Great Britain, who is standing seventh. There were 40 that started today from 14 countries, uh, 23 men and 17 women. And now we're down to the final seven. It's standing seventh. That's the way they, uh, the start list is in reverse order. High scores first, and then you get all the way down to Karen Stives of the United States, who is number one at this point. So far, a kind of an iffy ride for Ian Starr. And He's as you effective. remember, on uh, Sunday and Monday, we had the elegant portion of the three-day test right here at Santa Anita Dressage, then a shipping day, and then on Wednesday, a grueling endurance test at Fairbanks Ranch. Another shipping day, and here we are with the final phase. It's a little bit of a ragged round for Ian. The horse obviously feels the endurance phase still. A little bit divey over his fences. He's jumped a couple off uh, one leg, as it were, on a wing and a prayer. And I don't think Ian is going to draw a deep breath until he finishes this round. He certainly At the is. moment, he's still clear, and that's what he's got to do, is to leave all the fences up and apply pressure to the U.S. And here he comes to the hardest combination on the course. It's been down a lot of times today. Gives that a rub, and he has it down. And that gives the Americans a little bit more breathing room. A little room. breathing room. That puts back the 8.2 penalty point lead of the United States. And he that really rubs that, that last down. one. So really rubs that, that, that last down. one. And just inside the 122nd level, we're going to have great competition coming up. The final six. We'll be back after this word from our...